الخامس So we are still doing the exercises for lesson number five. And inshallah, I hope that we will complete the exercises and the vocabulary today. So let's begin from exercise number nine. So, so it's on the pattern of قَالَ يَقُولُ قُلْ and صَاغَ يَسُوغُ So, فعل الأمر So, أسماء الفاعلين من الأفعال الآتية So, we have to form the verbs uh, from the following We have to form the file or اسم الفعل from the following verbs وذكر نوء And then we have to mention the kind of وذكر نوء كل فعل of every verb منها على النحو التالي on the following pattern So, now we have to make Asma'u al-Fa'ilin, that's number one, the doer. And then we have to mention the kind of every verb form on the bed, on the following pattern. For example, we have here, Hajja, and Nal'uhu is Muda'af. Ismu al-Fa'il al-Masuh minhu, Hajjun, and Asluhu, Hajjun. All right, so we have Jalasa, Nal'uhu, الصحيح. What will be اسم الفاعل؟ جالس and uh, the form جالس and the أصله the original form is also جالس. So we will only talk about the the verbs that go through changes. Uh, similarly, we have أكل. نوعه المهموز. المهموز. المهموز المهموز الفاء. اسم الفعل آكل 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 All right Then we have سأل It is also محموز uh, But this is محموز العين العين Right العين محموز العين Yes And اسم الفعل will be سائل 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 Then we have قرأ And نوعه محموز اللام Yeah. Okay, and اسم الفعل من هو؟ قارئون قارئون Excellent, قارئون Then we have وقفة Okay, وقفة is مثال المثال الواوي Excellent, مثال الواوي Okay, and اسم الفعل من هو؟ واقف واقف Then we have شك يشك مضعف Excellent, it's مضعف as we have over here Yes, مضعف Okay, what will be the اسم الفعل? شاكن شاكن And أصله will be the same on the same pattern شاككن And after the changes it becomes شاككن Okay, then we have تابا تابا يتوب So it's أجوف 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 Okay فهو Taibun. Excellent. Taibun. Okay, excellent. So actually, we have to insert only Hamza, Hamza with Kasra, and then we have to put the mean here, and it becomes Taibun. Okay. And Asluhu, Taibun. Taibun. And after the changes, it becomes Taibun, as we know that a vowel changes into Hamza. Okay, Raba. Raibun is Ajwa Fiyan. It's Ajwa Fiyai. Yes, it's Fiyai. So it will be Ghaba Yagibu. Ghaba Yagibu. And it will be Ghaibun. However, Asluhu is Ghajibun. Ghajibun. And we know that whenever Waw and Ya, they come after Alif, they change into Hamza. So it will be Ghaibun. Shafa Yashfi. Shafa Yashfi is Naqif. Al-Naqis. Al-Naqis is Al-Ya'iyu. Excellent. And اسم الفعل منه شافن. ناقص. Yes, it's ناقص يعني and it will be. يعني. Yes, شافن. And the original form will be شافيون. شافيون, right? The ya changes into ألف مقصورة. رجاء يرجو. 
Raja Yarju, I have given you the hint. Yarju, yes. Yeah, Yarju, it's a Nakuswavi. Nakuswavi, excellent. And Fahua? Rajin. 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 Yes, and Asluhu? Rajivan. Rajivan, excellent. Mashallah. And uh, this is like, uh, these are the details as, as we have discussed now. So if you would like to have a look in detail, you can see all the changes or all the um, you know, changes that we have discussed now. For example, Hajja, Al Mudaf, Hajun, and Hajjun. Similarly, Jalasa, Akala, and all the details are here. Ta'amalil Mathala. And now we have to reflect on the example. Lismil Maf'uli for the object or for the passive article. Al Masughi, which is formed. Minal Fa'lil Ajwafil Wawi, which is formed from Ajwaf Wawi. Thumma accumulated nafisa, and then we have to complete the un incomplete. As we can see here, qila, it's basically qala yaqulu. And we know that this is a unique uh, verb form which is used to make passive, which is qila. And this is the one and only, which is instead of qila, it is qila. And ismul maf'ul will be maqulun. Only one change takes place. It is basically maqulun. And the one vowel, the first vowel gets dropped, or we can say, either we say the first vowel gets dropped and the dhamma is transferred to qaf, or we say the second vowel is, get, is, is dropped and the dhamma is transferred to qaf, so it becomes maqulun. As we know that like dhamma is normally uh, heavy on the, on the vowel and it is compatible when dhamma comes before it. So that's why they change or transfer it to, if there is a second letter before it, then it will be transferred to the Sakin letter. So it becomes Maqulun. Maqulun, okay. Zara Yazuru, and it's uh, passive is Zira. Okay. And uh, what will be the Ismul Maf'ul? Mazurun. 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 Mazurun will be the original. Yeah, okay. And uh, Asluhu will be. Mazburun. Mazburun. And as we have discussed, uh, one vowel gets dropped, and then this dhamma will be transferred to the letter that comes before it. When it is sakin, so it becomes mazurun. Lama yulumu, to blame someone. Uh, he was blamed, lima. And if we want to make uh, uh, ismal maf'ul from that, it will be. Malumun. 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 Excellent. Malumun. And Aslahu uh, Malwoman, Malwoman. All right. Now, as we can see here, uh, that in Arabic, passive forms can come on two patterns. Either it can be from the verb itself, which is like from Qala, we have Qila, Zara, we have Zira, and Lama, we have Lima. Also, we can get the derived Mushtaqat, as we are discussing. We can also get the derived form of the verb of the of the verb, which it will be on the pattern of maf'ulun, which is also used as passive. And this is the diversity of the Arabic language. Sometimes we will see that in the Quran, uh, the verb is used as itself, like as we can see here, why the qila al is used a lot in the Quran. And similarly, sometimes it can be on the pattern of the receiver of the action, which is mushtaq. However, both of them, whenever they are used in Arabic language, both of them will be passive. May it be the verb itself, or may it be the derived form of the verb, which is ismul maf'ul. Both of them will have the same meaning. And now we can see that uh, if we see here uh, the, the verse of the Quran, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajeem, fatawalla anhum fama anta bimalumin. Okay, what kind of ma is this? I hope you don't forget. Hijaziya. Hijaziya. And we know that sometimes there is a combination of ma with ba. Ma with ba, as we can see here. So fatawalla anham fama anta bimalumin. Okay, now one more thing that you need to, uh, okay, here is so, uh, so leave them, O Muhammad, for you are not to be blamed. So here it has been used as the derived form, which is on the pattern of Ismul Maf'ul. Again, uh, the same text, so we don't need to analyze uh, further. It's Ta'amal al-Mithala, Ismul Maf'ul al-Masughi, 
minal fi'l ajwa fil ya'i so now the only change that has taken place and now we have ajwa ajwa fi ya'i okay what is ajwa fi ya'i by the way i hope you remember that so thumma akmil al naqisa and then we have to complete the incomplete incomplete yes ajwa fi ya'i what is ajwa fi ya'i when the second, second letter is ya yeah. when the uh, second kalima yeah ainal kalima is ya excellent yeah ainal kalima is ya so as we can see here ba ya biu and the verb form itself will be biya uh, but when we look at the derived form al ism al mushtaq min hu it will be mabiun and asluhu mabiyun and this change is completely different uh, we discussed about this in book number 2 in case you want to see how these changes take place but here we will only look at the patterns and write them down here or discuss about them similarly we have kala yakilu to measure and the verb form is kila and what will be ism al maf'ul makilu makilu excellent makilu and asluhu will be makyul mak makyul excellent then we have azada yazidu and uh, the passive form is zida and the derived mazidun. form will be mazidun excellent zidun mazidun and uh, the original form is mazyudun okay mazyudun all right so do you remember any verse of the quran where we have this kalima mazidun alim talata hal min mazid yes fahil wa يوم تقول لجهنم حليم لا لا يوم نقول يوم نقول نقول لجهنم يوم نقول لجهنم حليم لا حليم لا تقول حليم لا تقول حليم لا فهل من مزيد مزيد let's see yes let's see i'm sure it's over there فتقول هل من مزيد sorry yeah. so we need to be very careful when we are talking about the verses of the quran يوم نقول لجهنم حليم تلات وتقول hal min mazid so oh, naqulu refers not to, far yeah not not far as i said yeah we need to learn and taqulu yeah. is where the jahannam is responding yes excellent so naqulu refers to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taqulu refers to the jahannam here so she will respond yawma the day naqulu li jahannam and jahannam as we can see here it has fatha instead of kasra so that means this is also mamnoon min asraf لجهنم حلم تلاتي وتقول and it says or she says هل من مزيد are there some more so مزيد again uh, we know that here if you remember about the use of uh, min it is like in everyday like uh, in normal arabic we will say that this is min azaida but here it is used for emphasis وتقول هل من مزيد and we have discussed that before this there has to be question or uh, nafi and after that the noun has to be nakira as we can see over here all right may allah forgive us and then we have again ta'amal al mithal al mithala li ism al maf'ul al masughi min al fi'l al naqis al wabi and now we have naqis wabi thumma akmil al naqis and then we have to complete the incomplete the aya da'u so naqis uh, means when the third root letter is either waw or ya so here we are talking about when the third root letter is waw so da'wa yad'u and after changes it becomes da'a yad'u the verb form will be du'iya and the derived form will be mad'un and asluhu mad'u and then we have one and we know that when we have uh, two waws together then we will implement the rules of idgham we will merge them and then it becomes mad'un okay tala yatlu uh, the real form is tulia the verb form and what will be the derived form matlun matlun excellent mm-hmm. and the original form is matlun okay raja yarju rujia and uh, the derived form will be marjiun 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 on the pattern of matluun matluun so marjiun and then we have marjiun so the vowel gets dropped over here and then we have here uh, on these these two verbs haven't been used like uh, 
the passive form of Mad'uwan and uh, like Mad'uwan, Matlu'uwan and Marju'uwan, they haven't been used in the Quran. However, ذَلِكُمْ بِأَنَّهُ إِذَا دُعِيَ So as we can see here, so sometimes, as I said, sometimes the passive form will be used by itself. And sometimes we'll, we will see that the derived form is used in the Quran, like in the previous example, Halmin uh, Mazid, and now we can see over here, إِذَا دُعِيَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ كَفَرْتُمْ Okay, but both will refer to the same uh, meaning, Ustaz. Both exactly. will refer to the same yeah. meaning. Both will be passive. Okay. Both of them are passive. Yes. Okay. So, but uh, is there any uh, condition that we should use uh, this passive and this passive, or it can be interchangeably used? Interchangeably Ustaz? used. And uh, in the Quran, of okay. course, we know that they are used uh, like according to as they have been re revealed by the by Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but in our everyday life okay. we can we can choose whatever okay. and most of the times inshallah you will get used to it uh, for example if something mm -hmm. is needed instead of saying uh, uh yani, we say like something is needed we say matloob instead of tuliba mm -hmm. and for example you are needed we will say anta matloobun instead of saying uh, anta tuliba yani. and similarly if something okay. is lost for somebody and they say like al jawal mafqudun like if something is lost mafqud lost like in, in english we use lost right so it will be mafqud and it won't be fuqida instead of fuqida you will see it is mafqud and in the quran we have very good a beautiful example ghayr al maghdubi so instead of ghudiba uh, yeah. okay. we have ghayr al maghdubi so it's like it depends how it is used in the quran okay one more okay. thing have you noticed over here they will be told where is they will be told And also, it, is, uh, it has been dropped to start. So it will be basically uh, they will be told, but it's as, as we see that that's why we are learning the Arabic language uh, so that when we are like, because we wouldn't have the translation all the time. So it's sometimes it's difficult to connect the ayah with the ayah, like the connection is lost sometimes when we are reciting or reading by ourselves. So translation helps us that this is the connection and based on that inshallah we will be able to figure out so the first task is to read the translation carefully and try to figure out if something is like dropped or not something is mahdoof or not and sometimes dhalika as you can see here is also it is bi annahum, bi exactly. always it comes in surah al muhammad but yes that uh, is it because means that, uh, sometimes yeah yes. that is because okay. that is because that means, so sometimes uh, it is, that means it means uh, it will be told to them that is yeah. because of that. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Because this is ba. If you see ba over there, you know ba is like causative. It is used uh, for reason, and valika is basically used like ismulishara uh, that. But sometimes it is used. It will be told ya yeah, valikum. That is because. So also here, kum basically is used for for tum kafar tum, and you will see very few examples in the Quran. Uh, that you will see that like dhalika and therefore you will also see like dhaliki and similarly dhalikum. So whenever you see that, it means you have to look for the noun that it is used for or the verb that it, it is used for. So that verb or that noun will be compatible according to the attached pronoun that we have over here. So it's not only dhalika because dha is ismul ishara, ka is ka al mukhatab, the one who is being. So it could be ka kuma kum. Ki kuma kunna. It could be dhali kunna, and a dhali kunna, it will be antunna, if you notice in the Quran. Dhali yeah. kumullahu, because dhali kumullahu, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is used like in the plural form, like in the Quran, out of honor and respect, so that that's why it will be dhali kum, and then it will be dhali kumullahu. So if you notice from today, you will see that sometimes we have only dhali and sometimes we have the dhalika and kuma and kum and dhaliki and kuma and kunna. So it will be used according to the person or according to the one or the muhatib that is used in that uh, verse of the Quran. Context. It could be a yeah, context, it could be a noun, and it could be a, a verb as well. Basically, in the verb, we know that there is inbuilt noun. It's basically dhalikum antum kafartum. So it's basically used for antum, as we know that. So these are my new details that we won't really find in the books of uh, like Surf and Nahal. And uh, that's why these small details, we need to note them down and they will help us to inshallah to understand Quran. And just to get rid of that, like sometimes confusion we have in the brain, like why? I only know Dhalika, but why we have Dhalikum? 
or why we have dhaliki or why we have dhalikuma. So inshallah, this will, uh, this, uh, will help you a lot. The amal al-mithala, lithm al-masughi bin al-fail al-naqis al-yai. So for every form of the verbs uh, starting from sahih and then uh, mahmuz and then we have mudaaf and then we have uh, ajwaf wawi and ajwaf yai and then we have naqis wawi and naqis yai. For all of them, for ismul fa'il and ismul maful, we have the two to three examples. So based on these examples, we can um, you know, expand our learning of the Arabic language. Now we have bana yabni, and this one is exact on the pattern of buniya is on the pattern of fu'ida. So here the pattern doesn't change. It only changes in ajwaf. In ajwaf, it comes on the pattern of fila, like qila, siqa. But the rest of the forms of the verb, it will be exactly on the pattern of fu'ida. So bana yabni, buniya, and uh, uh, Ismul Maful will be Mabniyun, and Mabniyun something that is constructed, something that is built, and Asluhu uh, Mabnuyun, Mabnuyun. Then we have Qala uh, Yaqli, and we have Quliya, Qala Yaqli, Quliya, and Qala means to fry, I guess, right? And then we have, uh, all right, so we will Maqliyun, something that is fried. Asluhu. So today we have like some terms of the barbecue. Then we have shawa uh, to grill. And then we have shuviya and uh, yeah. mashviyun, yeah. Grilled fish, uh, if you have the chance to eat, yes. The chicken over here. The that's right. And makliyun, like batatas, uh, normally they are makli, they are fried. And we have mashviyun, and from that we have mashviyun. Kawaya kui, kuya, and mabniyun on the pattern Bible, of this right? book, it will be, sorry? Makuyun. Excellent, makuyun. Makuyun. And asluhu, makuyun. And then I have added one as well. Tawaya uh, tui, and from tawaya tui, we have tuya. And uh, from tuya, we have makuyun, folded to fold something, makuyun. And asluhu, makuyun. And that's the reason why I basically added this to bring a verse from the Quran. So also we need to see over here that whenever we have ismul fa'il or ismul maf'ul, let's not forget to make the, the feminine as well. For example, Maqliyun, maqliyatun, mabniyun, mabniyatun, and matwiyun, matwiyatun, and the plural of matwiyatun will be matwiyatun, matwiyatun, yes, folded, okay, and as we can see here, and the heavens will be folded in his right hand, so wa ma qadr Allah haqqa qadrihi, or haqqa qadri, wal ardu jamiyan qabdatuhu, will be in his fist, right, qabdatuhu, entirely will be with his yes. grip, on the day of resurrection, uh, qiyamati, on the day of judgment, was samawatu maqwiyatun biyaminihi, and the heavens will be folded in his right hand. Subhanallah. So, when we look at the when we look at the skies, we think like they are so big, and let's see what, what, what what's gonna happen. Just they will be folded, like we fold the paper, and that's it. Allah. That is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So asma al mafulina, and again so we have to. Form asma'ul maf'ulina in al afal al atiyati. So we have to make asma'ul maf'ul, which is the passive forms of the noun. Wadkur nawa kulli fa'ilin. And then we have to mention the form of every or the kind of every fail or the every verb. Min al nahwi al ati on the following pattern. So we can see here shawa and al naqis al yai and ismul maf'ul al masugh minhu mashwiyun. And Aslu Mashwuyun. All right. Kutiba. So this is Nauhu Asahih. Okay. And Kutiba, from Kutiba it will be Maktubun. Kutiba. Maktubun. Maktubun. Okay. Okhida, it's Mahmuz, it has Hamza. And what will be the Ismul Mashwuyun? Ma'khuzun. Ma 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 Excellent. Ma'khuzun. Perfect. 
then we have Suila. He was asked. Mas'oolun. Mas'oolun. Okay. So Suila, he was asked. So it is Mahmuz and uh, Mas'oolun, someone who is responsible, someone who will be asked. So in this context, it is used, someone who is responsible. Quria, it was read. Makru'un. Makru'un. Excellent. Makru'un. Yes, something that is uh, read. Surra, it's basically from Surra Yasaru. Surra, Muda'af. Okay, excellent. Yes. Masrurun. 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 Perfect. Masrurun. Uh, wuzina. So surah is mudaf. Uh, wuzina is mithal. So, mithal. Yes. Mawzunun. 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 Excellent. Mawzunun. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Then we have from Sana Yasunu, we have uh, mm -hmm. Sina. Masunun. Masunun. Excellent. Masunun. Masunun. No, masunun. No, this is Sana Yasunu. Mas Masunun, okay. Masunun. Okay. It will be Masunun, uh, Masunun. Like to sculpt something, right, Ustad? That other one is uh, to sculpt, is it? Sa Sa no, I think, no, there is no palb over here. Because maybe you're getting okay. confused with the noon. Noon will remain in the end. So it will be okay. Masunun, Masunun, Masunun. Yes, Masunun. Okay. The original form is Masunun, Masunun. So you see, if we have Masunun, we drop one vow. And you know that wow will transfer its dhamma to sad, so it becomes masunun. Okay, then we have, so uh, what kind of verb is this? Ajwaf? Wawi, as you can see, wow. Ajwaf, Ajwaf Wawi. Okay, then we have nusya, yes? Nasa nusya. Yes, so nasa is nasiya yansa, basically. Nasiya yansa. Nasiya yansa. Nasiya yansa. Nasiya yansa. Nasiya Excellent. Mansiyun. Mansiyun. And original uh, original is uh, Aslahu Mansuyun. 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 Okay. Yes. So, Qalit ya ni mitu qabla hadha wa kuntu nasiyam mansiyya. As we can see over here. So, yeah. She said, uh, oh, that I would have died before this. And referring to Maryam alayhi salam, and would have been something gone, forgotten. So, wakuntu nasiyam mansiya. So that's why everything that we are learning is for a reason. And if you are not, now, if you are able to figure out all these minor things, in fact, they are not minor. They will help us a lot. That, like, in what context it is used. And now you see here, it is ismul maf'ul, and it is in the form of nasb. Yeah. So it is mansub. And it is used in the form of mansub as well, because uh, we have to remember that, that when we derive a noun, the derived noun can be marfu, mansub, and majroor. For example, maktubun, maktuban, maktubin, mansurun, mansuran, mansurin. And then we will see how it is used in the sentence, whether it is used as a file in the place of the doer, or it is used in the place of uh, uh, mansub, the receiver of the action, or it is used as uh, majroor after the after preposition or mudaf mudafale. So ismal maful can be. Mm -hmm. This is maful mutlaq is. That's right, maful mutlaq. Yes. Here we come to fail plus file, and we know that ismu kana is marfu and khabaru kana is mansub. So it is mansub. Nasian is mansub because it is uh, is khabaru kana. And mansiya is used as, it can be used as hal, it can be also used as maful mutlaq. Both of them are possible. Akuntu nasiyam mansiya and would have been something gone, forgotten. Both. Say that now, firstly, we can say the tarkib. Kuntu na kana sabar. Kana sabar. Ismu kana is basically ana. Okay. The that's inverse. Uh, yeah. So Anna is Anna. Yeah. So Anna is Anna. Yeah. So Anna is fail. Anna is file. And Nasian is, uh, we know that Ismu, this is Ismu, Ismu Kana and this is Khabaru Kana. So this is Ismu Mahfulla Maful Mutlaq. Yes, because uh, it has the same. It has the same root letters. It has the same root letters like Nasiya, 
And we know that mm -hmm. maful mutlaq normally has the same root letters, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but we have to see that whether nasai and sifa hu anasin. And uh, if we look at like, we have to look at the masdar. So if the masdar is mansiyum, then we will say that it is used as maful mutlaq. But if this is not the masdar, then we will say that it is used as hal in the place of hal. In any case, it is used as mansub, and it can be also masub sifa as well. Both of them are possible. It depends like how they are used. And inshallah, when we further explore the text, we will discuss in detail like how it is used. As of now, if you want to know more about it, you can go to uh, Quran Corpus. We discussed about this as well before in book two. That website is very good website, Quran Corpus, and it will definitely give you the idea like how it is used and you will get like almost 90% of the idea you will get from this website. It's all in English. And then 100% inshallah, when we start Arab Al-Quran, Arab Al-Quran is totally in Arabic. And so we will get a clear picture of everything like how it is used, whether it is used as hal or it is used as mafud mutlaq or how it is used. However, in Quran corpus, you will definitely get the idea whether it is hal or it is used as in the place of mafud mutlaq. And these are the details of what we have discussed already here. So uh, as it was like, as we can see here, it is Masunun, just to confirm. So it will be Masunun and all of them are over here and you can have a look whenever you have time and inshallah. The best thing would be you have to write them down. Once you write them down, they will help you a lot and inshallah you will never forget again. So at, at, this is like one time investment that we have to do. Uh, we have to look at uh, the original form, and then we have to look at the derived form because only these uh, weak verbs, only they change. And there are only two weak verbs, wow and ya. There aren't so many. So wow and ya, either they are replaced by each other or they are replaced by themselves. Uh, so that's the only thing that we have to uh, see and that's it inshallah. So once you practice a lot uh, about them, it will be clearer to you. Istakhrij. So istakhrij on the pattern of istaghfir, if you can remember that. Uh, so istakhrij minat darsi from the lesson. What we have to, okay, asma, what will be the era, what will be the ending of asma? Asma'i. Asma'il. Why? Adarsi. La, how many times? Asma'u Please remember that whenever I am asking the ending of Asma. Look, whenever you see how whenever you see Jar Majroor, keep it out of the context. Okay. Istakhrij fill al Amr Asma. Asma Alpha. Asma Alpha. Asma Yes. Of course. Because this is, I, I'm telling, I'm saying this fail. is fail. I'm yeah. be here after that. Yes, exactly. So this is fail plus file. Every uh, fail al amr has inbuilt to or anta. Yani anta tastakhrij. So istakhrij, even though you don't know this verb form, but if I'm telling you that this is fail al, uh, fail al amr, you should be able to know that the noun that follows it will be mansub. So now, yes, Irfan, now we can say that asma is mudaf. Fa'ilina wal maf'ulina, they are mudaf ilayhi. Asma al fa'ilina wal maf'ulina. So now we have to derive or we have to extract extract the nouns of like active particle and passive particle. Wal kur athla asla kulli wahidin minha. And then we have to mention the original of all of them. As I said, once we have to look at that, what is the original from? Wal kur, and you mention. Asla, why it is mansub? Because it is maful bihi. Wadkur anta yani tadkur. So fail plus file, and that's why we have mansub over here. So the same thing happened over here. Asla kuli wahid in minha, wal fail illadi ustukka minha. And then the word that is, or the noun that is derived from it. Wanawa. Yes. Asla, uh, aslan, we can, why we can say asla? Because the anaki. Uh, this one? No, no, no. This is Mudaf. Mulaf. Mulaf is Kulu Wahidin. Yes, yes, that's right. So, in fact, okay. the, the word Kulli is also used as Mudaf. So, we sometimes we can have more than one Mudaf Mudafale. 
So we will say that Asla is Madaf. Kulli is basically both. It is in the place of Madafile and Madaf, exactly. So for Asla, it is Madafile, but by itself, for Wahidin, it is Madaf. So whatever is easier for you to remember, either you can remember that this is both Madaf, Madafile, or you can simply say that this is Madafile, and then the noun that follows it is also Madafile as well. Asla means? Original. Original, yeah. Asla and the plural is Asulun, the origin. Yani, min oh. asla, I'm in Pakistan. Originally, I'm from Pakistan. So the origin of something. So what we have today, uh, in the previous le lesson, we have seen like, or the exercise, Asluhu, yani, it's the original form. So what we have to do, uh, we have to we have to derive Ismul Fail and Ismul Maful, right? So we know that Ismul Fail and Ismul Maful come from a verb. So basically, we have to see the verb where they have come from. And then what we have to do, we have to mention that verb, and we have to also mention what kind of verb is this? What kind of verb is this? Is this like naqis? Is this ajwaf? Is this madaf? Is this mahmuz? All of these verbs that we have discussed uh, in detail already. Okay, so um, basically this is the exercise that you are supposed to do by yourselves. So the answers are already here. However, when you are doing by yourselves, uh, please do it without looking at the answer key so that you can do it first time by yourself because these are the ones that are derived from the lesson. So we have uh, Zara, Ismul Fail Zairun, and now Al Fail is Al Ajwafu Al Wawiyu, and uh, the, the original form is Zara. So Al Fail Al Ladi Ishtaqa Minhu, so it is derived from Zara, Zairun. So we have to only look at Ismul Fail or Ismul Maful from the lesson. Nataqa. Yantiku, nataka yantiku. And fahuwa natiqun. What will be the plural of natiqun? Natiquna. What will be the mansub and majroor form of natiquna? Natiqina. Natiqina. Una ina ina. So, lighari natiqina biha, as we are learning this, durusul lughatil arabiyati, lighari natiqina biha, like the non native speakers of Arabic language. And then from Hada, we have Al Hadi, and we are only discussing about the ones that have been used in the lesson. We don't have to form anything, we have to only extract. Istakhrij, you have to only extract from the lesson. And from Saqa, we have Saqin. And from Hudiya, we have Mahdiyun. And from Duiya, we have Mad'oon. Ayin, okay. Now you have to specify. Ayin. What? Asma? Uh, asma. Yes. Uh, asma al. Excellent. Fa'ilina wa maf'ulina. So now we have to specify uh, specify active particles and passive particles. Afil jumalil atiyati in the following sentences. Vadkur, and then we have to mention. Now look at the beauty of these books. Now the ending over here has been dropped. So now you should be able to put the case endings by yourselves, like the Sheikh says, class, first time I told you, and now you have to do it by yourselves. So what will be the ending of Aslan? Asla, waskur, waskur asla, kulli wahidin. Asla, asla. Okay. Kulli wahidin minha. Kulli wahidin, yeah. Kulli wahidin minha. Wal fail ustuqa minha, and the, the verb that it is derived from, wanawa had al fairy and the kind of, this fail as well. Okay, why I say anawa? Because ayin, the impact of ayin continues until here. Why? Because in between we have wow. And now you know why wow will up. Okay, so whenever we have wow will up, and that means the ending will be the same as is the ending of the first noun. Excellent. Abi Qadin. What kind of sentence is this? Qadi. My father is a judge. judge. Yeah. Judge. Okay. Judge. Yes. Okay. So Abi is uh, is Muqtada and Qadin is Khabar. Both of them are Marfur. How both of them are Marfur? Because this is uh, yeah, yeah is uh, deleted. Excellent. So, yeah, yeah, uh, okay. Limits basically, or we can say it's it's the form of Abu Aba Abi. So both of them are possible. Yes. But here it is used as ab plus ya al mutakallim abi my father. 
So it was basically abun plus ya mutakallim. So it has become abi because we know that ya has the demand that there should be kasra. The mat al mukaddara. Yes. The mat al mukaddara. The mat al mukaddara will be. The mat al will be when you use the form of abu aba abi. But this is not majroor. Please remember. When you say the mat al mukaddara, then it will be abu marfu, aba mansub, and abi majroor. But here it is not majroor. Here it is used as. Marfur, because it is basically uh, this is basically abun, as you know abun, and you know we have ya al mutakallim with that, plus ya al mutakallim. So when we have abun plus ya al mutakallim, it will be. Ta. Whenever we have uh, ya al mutakallim, we say that damma fatha or kasra mukaddara only use that. No. La. This noun can be used in two ways. It can be used by itself, abun, aban, abin. Yeah, that is Abu Khalidin like that. Yes, exactly. Then that that will be mudafila. That's right. This is, the, uh, this is the original form of the word or kalima abun, abun. Okay. So we have ab uh, abun plus we have ya al mutakallim. So we know that uh, ya al mutakallim always demands kasra. So that's why we have to give kasra to. The kalima abu. The ba. We know, yeah, ba will get kasra. We know that. Uh, when we use madaf and dafre, the tarween disappears. Only it will be light. So only so dhamma. We say dhamma mukaddara, Ustad. So we say dhamma mukaddara in this case. No? Abi. This is how it has been taught. Yeah. Because whenever uh, this one gets clubbed with ya ul mutakalim, then the okay. dhamma fatha or. Yeah, dhamma is hidden because we can't see it. However, it's, it's replaced with kasra. So that's why. Um, yes, it is deeply to it does not to be compatible with ya, with but ya, uh, okay. still so it is dama mukaddara. Dama mukaddara. Okay. So abi is mukaddara, and what about qadin? Is khabar? Qadin is marfu, mansub, or majroor. It's marfu, but uh, the uh, uh, marfu alal yai, which is dropped. Yes, excellent. So it was basically qadiyun, and we know that uh, when ya has the uh, when ya has the mean on it. It gets dropped and it is replaced by kasratain. So this is called a tanwin al aywad. It's a manqus and tanwin al aywad. Yes. Sometimes tanwin al aywad is used for the kalima, as we can see over here. And please remember that in the coming lessons we will see that this tanwin can be can be used for the whole sentence, like yawma idin, hina idin. So over there it replaces the whole sentence. Here it replaces only the letter. It replaces ya only, but inshallah we will see that it also replaces the whole sentence as well. So Abi is Muqtada and Qadin is Khabar. My father is a um, is a judge. Okay, so Qadin is it a small file or maful? Okay, so where is it derived from? It is derived from Qada Yaqdi, Qada Yaqdi, Fahuwa Qadin. So this is a naqis yai. Ma ajmal hada al bayt al mabniya bil hajri. How beautiful is this house made from uh, the stone? Where is um, where is the derived Mabani. form of the noun? Mabani, banaya, bani, banaya, bani, mabniyun. On the pattern of Ismail Mafud, excellent, mabniyun, very good. Asha, imun anta. Are you fasting? Are you fasting? Are you fasting? Are you fasting? Okay. Saimun. Saimun. Okay, excellent. Sama yasumu fa huwa saimun. Al ajwaf wabi, excellent. Derived from sawimun, okay, very good. Then we have uhibbun lahma al mashwiya wal baida al maqliya. Mashwiya. Okay, mashwiya, all right, and? Maqliya. Maqliya, okay, so I like uh, grilled chicken, or oh, sorry, gri grilled meat. We eat some chicken yeah. <laughs> and? And? By the egg, which is boiled. Boiled. Fried. 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 Masluk is, is boiled. This is fried egg, yeah? Makaliya. Okay. Addalu ala al khairi, kafa'ilihi, we discussed in the previous lesson. Addalu is derived from dalla yadullu, fahuwa dalun. And what about fa'il? Don't forget fa'il. Dalilun. Dalilun, excellent. What about. Yeah, what about fa'ilun? Fa'ilun also here we have fa'ilun. It is basically fa'ala. Fa'ala from fa'ala we have fa'ilun. Fa'ala to me, I mean, um, my mom said to me, 
Malabis uka maksulatun wa makuiyatun. Your clothes are washed and ironed. Maksulatun. Ghasala yaksilu. Yeah, ghasala yaksilu. Maksulatun. Yeah. Maksulatun. And kawaii. Makuiyatun. So they are both on ismul mafrul on the pattern of ismul mafrul. Okay. Rajat Aisha tu. Aisha came back. من الطائف فرام طائف في الأسبوع الماضي the previous week or the last week let's see how many of them can you figure out Aisha 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 from Aisha يعيشو excellent very good and طافا يطوف طائف excellent طافا يطوف طائف very good what about ماضي Madai Madai Madin, yeah, Fahu Madin, yes, so it's used for the time. Madai to Ijazat if I Pakistan, I spent my vacation in Pakistan. So that's why we say past tense because something that has been gone or something that has been spent. Yes, something that has been used. So that's why. So Aisha uh, from Aisha Yaishu, Taifu is from Tafa Yatufu, and then we have Madi from Madai Amdi. Aisha is a small file, Taif is small file, and Madi. Is also a small file. Okay. لا تخف فإن سرك مسون. Don't yeah, don't be afraid. Your secret is preserved. Is safe or preserved? سانا يسون سيانة سيانة. If you see that maintenance, so something that has been preserved, something that has been maintained, something that has been protected. Don't be afraid. Okay, Masoonun is on the pattern of Ismul Mafrool. Ayn al Masoonu anil imtihani. Where is the person responsible for the exam? Is Saala yes alu fahuwa Masoonun. Masoonun. Yes. Ala tazalu naiman. Are you still sleeping? Qum wake up. Fakad udzina lil asri. Indeed, the call has been made. The the call has been made for the prayer. Yes. Naiman. Naiman. Yes. Naiman. 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 Excellent. Then we have La Tukbalu Salatu, Asilatu, Al Mabiatu. The sold goods are not accepted. That is Mabiatun. Mabiatun. It is Mafrul, right? On the platform. It's Mul Mafrul. Excellent. Ajib Anis Sawali Atali. Okay. Answer the following question. Excellent. Talayatlu. 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 And basically when we use al with that, then the ya comes back. Excellent. And Abi Hurairata, as you can see here, now here Abi is used as Abu Aba Abi. Okay. So here it is used as the one of the five nouns. And Abi Hurairata. رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم قال يسلم الصغير على الكبير and we have discussed about this والمار على القائد so the younger one says salam to the older one والمار مرة يمر فهو مار passing yes على القائد on the one who is قائد sitting قائد يقعد قائد sitting one yeah والقليل and the and the few number or the one who are little Little al al to the to the ones who are in a big number. Okay. And we have riwayat and then there is another riwayah. You sell him a rakibu. Rakiba yarkabu fa huwa rakibun. And the one who is riding something, riding a horse. Riding, riding. Or the rider. You sell him a rakibu and the rider al al mashi. The one to the one who is walking. Masha yamshi fa huwa mashi. Well, mashi and the one who is walking. And the one who is sitting, sitting. Well, qalilu al al kathiri. Subhanallah. And the one, and the, those who are like less, they should say share salam to the ones who are uh, more in number. So now all of them you are able to understand, and mashallah, now you are able to understand a hadith and also the verses of the Quran as well. At taibu, or in the form of ism file. Yes, at taibu, taaba yatubu fawa taibun. The one who repents. The, the one who repents, the one who repents from the sin, Kaman, like the one, the one who la doesn't have any kind of sin. La, what kind of lie is this? Sin over him. La. 
You forget so quickly. La is a la. La nafil al jins. La nafil al jins. La. Look, la, if you la, have la, and after that you have fatha after that, la, that means absolute negation. La ilaha illallah. La riba fihi. La hawla. La jarama in the Quran. Yes. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. So this is la of absolute la. negation, as if he is pure from all the sins. Yes. Uh, so, you know, like there are conditions like how we repent and then uh, we make sure that we make intention that we are not going to repeat the same sin again and we make dua and effort and inshallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all our sins because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives all the sins whenever we repent to him. This is verb. Ta'ala ya ta'ala is a verb. Okay. And it's uh, normally it is used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And uh, also it is used to make fail al-amr. If you remember ta'ala, when it is used to drop, when, when the lam, ya is dropped, then we put fatha. No, ta'al. Ta'al, okay. ta'al huna. Ta'alaw is used in the Quran. Ta'ala, come. Yeah. So that is, that, that is, we have lam with fatha. We don't have. Okay, if we ta, ayn, and ya maksura. Ta'ala ya'ulu, this awala. So the root letters are Ain Waula. And, and we need to know that this is uh, only used, this verb is only used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes. Uh, the, the most high. And for every nation. Hadin. 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 Okay, Vaiqa. Vaiqa Yaduku, Fahu Avaka Yaduku, Fahu Avaka, Fahia, Vaiqatun. The one who tastes, yeah, the one who tastes death, and we know that uh, uh, soul is feminine. Every soul, every soul tastes. Yeah, every, every, every soul will taste death. If you remember that when we, we use Ismul Fail, when we use it as Mudar Mudafale, in the beginning of the lesson we discussed that when we use it as Mudar Mudafale, then it gives the meaning of will or will be. Will in the future. Yes, yeah. the future, yes. So, ذائقن is the small file. ذائقتن is small file. For the women. For, for, for the feminine. For the feminine. Okay. تنقلو صلاة الجمعة The Friday prayer will be broadcast. بل أذاعتين On two broadcasting stations. المسموعة The one that is heard. Well, Mariyati and the one that is seen. That means radio and TV. Masmu'atan. Masmu'atan. Yeah, mas Masmu'atan. Samia Masmu'atan. Masmu'atan. If you remember, I told you Masmu'atan means audio. Mariyatun means video. So the prayer will be broadcast on both audio and video uh, stations. That means it will be broadcast on TV and also on radio. As well as on the radio. Yes, yeah, so Masmu'atan. These are the pattern of the Mafrulun. Mafrulun, excellent. So both of them are passive particle. So this is Samia Yasma. What about Maria? Root letters. Yalla. Ra Excellent. Ra Ra yara. Excellent. And then we have Fahuwa Ra'in. Mm -hmm. Fahvaka Mar'iyun. Yeah, and the feminine will be Mar'iyatun. Mar yeah, so now from these two examples, you need to know that for every noun, whenever you make Ismul Fa'il and Ismul Maf'ul, don't forget, forget to make feminine. For, for example, Nasara Yansuru Fahu Anasiran Fahi Anasiratun. And similar to Nusira Yunsaru, and Nusirat Atunsaru Fahiya, Fahu Anasiran Fahiya, Nasiratun. So you have to make for the feminine as well, so that because both of them are used a lot in the Quran in everyday life. So you need to get used to both of them. For example, we have Masmurun, Masmuratun, Mariyun, and Mariyatun. Dha'iqun and dha'iqatun. Hadin. Okay, what will be the feminine for hadin? See, that's why. Hadiyatun, excellent. Hadiyatun. Because the ya will come back. Yes, ya will come back. And what will be the plural of hadin? Hadiyuna. La. Ya will be dropped. It will be haduna. That's why once you have to write down with your hands. Otherwise, uh, there are so many things that still need to be explored mm -hmm. and everything cannot be discussed because like how many things can we discuss but whatever you come to know you should try to make plural from that this is how i learned you get one noun you make whenever i was able to make like this profile okay what will be the dual 
I was confused. What will be the plural? I didn't know. So I had to figure out. Hadiyun, Hadin, Hadiyani, Haduna. So three of them are different. Hadiyani, Ya comes back. Haduna, the Ya gets dropped. So that's how you will make. And inshallah, once you're able to make only one form, then you can make all the forms. Like every noun that comes on this pattern, now it wouldn't be difficult for you. You can make it all for all the forms. Similarly, Dha'iqun, Dha'iqani, Dha'iquna. Dha'iqatun, Dha'iqatani, Dha'iqatun. Similarly, we have Masmu'un, Masmu'ani, Masmu'una. And then we have Masmu'atun, Masmu'atani, Masmu'atun. So now it's up to you. The more you practice, the more you are going to learn. Now, inshallah, we are going to complete our lesson. The Sheikh has introduced here the extended forms of the verb and how beautifully we have completed the five forms of the verb. And then the Sheikh has started teaching from the sixth form of the verb, assuming that we have already completed five. So we have completed like uh, the first one, which is fa'ala, which is like the, the second one is fa'ala, sabbaha yusabbihu. The third one is fa'ala, which is jahada yujahidu. And the fourth one is af'ala yuf'ilu, which is aslama yuslimu. Aslama. Yeah, and the fifth one is tafa'ala, uh, which is tadabbara yatadabbaru. The five of them we have already learned. And inshallah, don't, don't, be, uh, don't just like get confused. We will discuss all of them one by one in the coming lessons. So here the Sheikh says, Salam alayhi ay qala lahu, assalamu alaykum. So when we say salam alayhi, that means uh, he said salam alaykum to him. Salama yusallimu, fail al-amr will be salim. So that's why we can say Allah Musalli wa Sallim. We say Allah Musalli wa Sallim. And similarly, we can, we can say Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa Sallam. And we can also say Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi wa Sallim. Both of them are possible. Ittala ala al Amri. He looked into the matter. Alimahu, uh, yani he knew it. He got information about it. Ittala yattali'u. And fail al Amr is Ittali'u. And this is uh, verb form number. Se uh, eight. This is eight. However, uh, some changes have taken place. It is basically if ta'ala, ta has changed into pa, and that is for the, uh, you know, like the linguistic reasons, like why it has changed into pa. Because of the same uh, makharij. Makharij, yeah, that's right. Ista'adhanahu fi kada, he asked for per permission in something. Ay talaba idnuhu fihi, he asked for his permission in it. So ista'adhana yasta'adhinu, and ista'adhin means to ask permission. To ask permission. Yes, and then we have ightanama. Ista'adhinu istaghfara yasta'adhinu. that's right, istaghfara, yes. Then we have ightanama, ightanama yaghtanimu ightanamun, ightanama al-fursata, ay intazaha, yani he seized the opportunity. Ightanama yaghtanimu, and if ismul file will be ightanim. There is a very beautiful hadith, ightanim khamsan qabla khamsan. Uh, take five things as a blessing before five things happen and five things are like uh, when you are free and when you have the free time before you get busy and your health before you become sick your money before you become poor and your life before you become dead you you die and your youth before you become old if you remember to fluctuate and that's why we have mirwahatun the same root letters uh so, and also in Arabic, they say raha yaruhu, rah yan idhab. So, all of them they are used uh, basically, it means to fluctuate, like mirwahatun, mirwaha also, like keeps on moving, it doesn't stay stable. To and fro. Yes, to and fro. Then we have hati mudari'al afali al atiyati. Then we have to give the uh, present tense of the following verbs. Taraka. Yatruku. Yatruku, fahuwa tariqun. Nataka, yantaku, fahuwa. Yantaku, fahuwa, nataku. Mama, yantaku, anil hawa. Anil hawa. Excellent. Sahiba, easy to figure out? Yes, habu. Yes, habu, excellent. Uh, to accompany. Sahib. Yes. Suhbatan. Uh, Sahiba, yes, habu, suhbatan. Then we have, hati jam'an kalimati al atiyati. Now you have to give the plural for the following nouns. Nuskhatun, copy. Nusakhun, copies, Nusakhun. Hadiyatun. Even because it has tamar buta, I think uh, it can open up. Possibility is there, but if there is a specific, that, for example, this is on the pattern of Fu'alun. So if a noun comes on a specific pattern, then the Arabs use the pattern. Otherwise, they will make it on the pattern of uh, like Jam'um Anak and Salim, right? Okay. Hadiyatun, Hadaya, gift and gifts. 
مركز مركز مراكز ممنوع من الصرف ممنوع من الصرف اوكي فرصه فرصه فرص 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 نسخون فرصون both of them are on the same pattern فرصون very common pattern uh, opportunities عنوان on the pattern of عناوين on the pattern of مفاعيل ممنوع من الصرف مفاعيل okay سر أسرار أسرار secrets secret and secrets and then we have هاتي مفرد or مفرد then okay so Uh, what will be the most of them? Shaanun. Excellent. Affairs. And manahaju. Manahaju. Please remember this. Manahaj. 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 Okay, manahaj. So shaanun, shaunun, affairs, and then we have manahaj and manahaju. The curriculum. Yeah, the curriculum. Now, inshallah, I will just... Uh, so this is what we have already gone through, all of them, one by one. So what you can do, you can just have a look, write them down, as I said, and memorize them. It's up to you now, as much effort you could put. This is a summary of everything about the verbs that have three root letters and that we have been discussing for a long time. So this is a complete summary, which includes everything Salim. It includes Mudaf, doubled. It includes Mahmuz, Mahmuz al-Fa, Mahmuz al-Ain, Mahmuz al-Lam. It includes Mithal, Mithal Wawi and Mithal Yai. Then it includes Ajwaf, Wawi and Yai, and Naqis, Wawi and Yai. This is everything about the verbs. If you are able to master this, inshallah, you will be confident. However, please remember that these are for the verbs that have three root letters. And the verbs that are derived forms of the verb that have more than uh, three root letters or the ones that have added root letters, um, they will have the same, the changes will be the same, but like there will be some different uh, patterns, but the changes will be the same. So if you are able to master these changes, inshallah, those changes will be just like a piece of cake for you. Uh, the, uh, the vocabulary we are not going to discuss. You can just have a look at it. Uh, and if there is anything you can ask, and most of the things, everything we have already discussed, and uh, you can just write them down if you need to, or you can have a look at them for the purpose of reference um, if you need to. So here we have, I'm, I'm sure you know all of them, right? All the words. So only thing aslam, the original form here, and the plural is usulun, and sil'atun, we have learned today, and the plural is on the pattern of fi'alun, sil'atun, which is commodity or goods. And asil'atul mabi'atu, sold goods, as we have discussed today. Then these are the verbs, if you are interested to know uh, which pattern it is, and especially what you need to know is the masdar, very, very important. You need to write it down. Masadr for the verbs that have three root letters will always be different. They have different patterns and they have so many patterns. So it's it's like always the pattern keeps on changing. For example, here, sahiba yashabu suhbatan, suhbatan, fa'alatan. Here we have hasala and we have hasala yahsulu, husulan. Sala yasilu, saylan wa saylanan. Sometimes it has two. Ma'ala yamilu, maylan wa maylanan. Dalla yadillu. We have dalalan wa dalalatan, two patterns. So najayanju, najatan on the afayafu, and we have afwan, and then we shifayashvi, shifaan. So as you can see here, najat is different, shifa is different, and suhbatan is different, husulan is different, dalalatan is different. So that's why I have given it here, so that you can write them down and you can memorize them. If you're thinking like we don't need to, No, 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 no. These, uh, basically, the masadir are so important that in the Quran they are used so extensively, and in, even in Arabic they are used so extensively that we will be surprised like where it has come from. So that's why we need to uh, focus on them and we need to memorize them. Similarly, we have raja yarju, raja'an, sana yasun, saunan, wa siyanatan, as you can see here, siyana, maintenance, as you can see here. Shakka, yashukku, and we have shakkan, lama yalumu, to blame someone, lawman, and the derived forms of the verb, the best thing about them, the master is fixed. Ightanama, ightinaman. Intahaza, intihazan. Ittara'a, ittila'an. They never change. 
Tarawaha, Tarawuhan, they will never change. Istadana, Istadanam, they never change. And then we have Zana Yazni, Zinan, as we know, and then we have Qaraqa, Tarqan, as we know the Muslim, as we, when we say that. And then we have Tarqun, Adana Yuadinu Tadinan, to call for prayer, word from number two. Saka Yasqi, Saqiyan, Fahuwa Saqin, to give some something to drink. And then we have Saqin, cup bearer. Sallama Yusallimu Tasliman, to greet or to say assalamu alaikum. Baydun, and the singular is Baydatun. What kind of ism is this? Like jins. Little jins, excellent. And then we have Ahlun Ahluna, and then we have Sahlun Ahlun or Sahlun or Marhaban. Uh, so you like came to your own people and uh, the construction we have already discussed. Alhamdulillah. So we have completed this lesson, and inshallah, in the next lesson, we will start. Uh, I, I guess lesson number six. Yes, that's right. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.